Welcome back to Off the Press. This is TBC Media's twice-a-week program we have to uh, look at local government, local issues, and this year, an election year, local elections. We're uh, joined this time by Vice Mayor Harold Hansen, immediately to my left. He's a four-term city councilman representing Ward uh, 5 there in the southwest, and he's seeking a fifth term. Uh, next to him is uh, one of his former colleagues, former Ward 7 Bakersfield City Council Representative uh, Russell Johnson, now a uh, local consultant. And uh, next to Russell is a former Assemblywoman. Um, again, the only person who hasn't run for office. Uh, this <laughs> is former Assemblywoman Nicole Parra, now a uh, adjunct professor in political science out at Cal State Bakersfield. And we've been talking with the vice mayor about a variety of things, his uh, own life, uh, some of the issues he uh, faces and uh, has faced on the uh, Bakersfield City Council during his roughly uh, 16 years. And uh, we're going to get into now uh, just a little bit about the uh, the election. I've uh, already heard the vice mayor say he's out uh, walking, uh, knocking on doors, talking to folks in his ward. Uh, not everyone is actually walking yet, so it's interesting to hear that, uh, that he is out there. Uh, the vice mayor didn't face any challengers in 2004. He didn't face any challengers again in 2008. And in 2012, his only uh, competitor uh, for Ward 5 was a write-in candidate. Uh, this time, however, things are a little different. He's uh, facing a challenge from a current planning commissioner, Jeffrey Tack, who's a reserve police officer. And uh, Mr. Tack has uh, the endorsement of the Bakersfield Police Officers Association, the police union. Uh, Mr. Hansen also faces a challenge from Ryan Nance, the very same gentleman who uh, mounted a write-in challenge against him in 2012. And uh, Mr. Nance is uh, president of the Carpenters Union Local 743. So two challengers this time. Uh, this uh, has to be probably one of the most crowded fields you've ever faced. I think you were in a three-way race uh, back in 2000 as well. Um, a any thoughts on that? You know, Jeff Tack here he has the BPOA uh, endorsement. You know, uh, money starting to come in to people's campaigns. Well, you know, I, uh, it's 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 great to run and not have any opposition. There's no question about it. Mm -hmm. But I've always said, you know, it's really really good for people to become involved in the process. Mm -hmm. Well, sure. And uh, although I wish it would have been in Russell's area instead of mine or Ward, but uh, <laughs> but uh, I know Jeff. And I know Ryan, they're both fine gentlemen, okay? Mm -hmm. But I gotta tell you that, you know, they, they just don't have the experience that I would have in a background. And let me bring up that, you mentioned the police endorsement. Yeah. I have never had the police endorsement. Okay. okay. Never had it the first time, and I've uh, never had it since then. Okay. And I'll tell you the one reason I don't, I think. Okay. It's because I don't agree to give them a 10 or 15 or 20% salary increase. Talk to the rank and file guys and ladies. You know, they're just like you and I and normal person mm -hmm. that they work and they try to make a buck and do the right thing. But when you get dealing with the unions, you know, you have a sp they have a specific goal. Their goal is, and I understand it, mm -hmm. is more money and more benefits. And yeah. sometimes you have to say no. Mm -hmm. And I've been one of the ones that have been part of saying no. Mm -hmm. So I think that's the result of that endorsement. As for uh, other endorsements, I've always been very successful mm -hmm. in having pretty good endorsements. I have the mayor's endorsement, and I think that's the best. I'll tell you what, the real endorsement I want is the one from my constituents. When they vote, that's the endorsement I want. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. Well, absolutely. Yeah. That's the one that uh, matters That's the, the one most. that counts. Exactly. Yeah. So, so, we'll see, but I, I'm not going to give away any total secrets of my uh, <laughs> campaign. I'll, get, I'll, oh, go I'll, ahead. I'll talk to you on November 9th. Okay. <laughs> All, right. All right. Well, I'll talk to you before then, but we'll talk okay. November 9th, too. If the election too. ends. Yeah. Our races don't end on election yeah, night. They, they take they a couple days on, to count. Yeah. This so is true. So we'll see. So yes. let's talk about, um, you, you mentioned your first election. You said, I just walked and walked and walked, and Gene Tackett was helpful. Um, and I, uh, I'm assuming Gene's probably being helpful again this time around as well. Um, when you look at the election, Harold, and the fact that you've got two challengers now, um, what is your plan to get out there? Are you going to go out and walk door to door again? Are you going to couple that with, you know, phone calls? Are you 
doing mailers like you did before. W w what's your plan? Are you doing anything different this time, or sticking? Well, probably with the old-fashioned way. Normally, you know, the the uh, banners, the signs, and uh, uh, the mailers. The mailers are critical, my estimation. But I'm walking. I have been walking for the last four or five weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a problem this time. Is that I'm spending so much time as mm -hmm. a vice mayor mm -hmm. doing other things, mm -hmm. like this afternoon. Mm -hmm. Uh, doing this, and which, I, by the way, I'm having a great time. You guys <laughs> Thank have been you. very How gracious. Are we? Uh, and uh, but it, but you know it, y you need to be out there and doing it. But I am consistently, or I am consistent in the walking process. Mm -hmm. And I believe that for me to go to a door means a lot more mm -hmm. than to have another my opponent go to the, have someone else just give the information. I think the personal touch is everything. Oh, it mm -hmm. is. It's in business. I and mean, I bet you end up saying 10, 15 minutes, yeah. come talk. There are some issues, which makes, you know, the securing the yes votes, right? Mm -hmm. That's right. And Gene Tack had told me, don't spend more than one minute at each door. I know. Um, but when I used to walk with my dad, it was a while. <laughs> but he got everyone in the house, and he taught he me did. about that yeah. rule. Well, that's different family. <laughs> right, that's, that's, yeah. That's, a, that's really interesting. Yeah. So Gene Tackett is doing your race. Is it, Gene Tackett is helping you this time. Yes, he is. Oh, wonderful. Yes. That's good. He's just a wonderful guy. Oh, yeah. Guy, he yeah. knows he knows retail politics. Yes, he does. Yes, and his does. son very well, Larkin. I had the honor of working with him when he was in Bakersfield. Yeah, he uh, reminds me that Hillary Clinton will be president. <laughs> How are you with that, okay? <laughs> <laughs> no, no comment. comment. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, Harold, um, when you're out going door to door, you're out there early now, what are you hearing? Are the people telling you the issues that you guys are hearing at the council? Is it public safety or is it something different? What are you hearing from the folks? You know, most of the time, people are just gracious and say thank you uh, um, and, and I'll give you consideration. I, you know, I try to give them my name and hopefully they'll remember the name. I mean, that recognition is everything. Mm -hmm. The odd time, uh, we're getting at roads a fair amount. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's interesting because the Southwest, my ward, the roads are pretty good mm -hmm. uh, because it's a fairly new area. So it would be Ward One and Willie's mm -hmm. area, your old area, you you get in those older uh, sections mm -hmm. that uh, the roads are beat up, and but the problem is it, it just costs a lot of money. Yeah. But you do get some public safety again. I, um, I think Ward One would have a lot more uh, conversation regarding public safety than I will. Mm -hmm. I think mostly people are there. People at Bakersfield are very very interesting. I'll bet I get twenty percent of the people. The first thing they say to me is, "You look hot." Can I get you a drink of water? Mm -hmm. That's so nice. Yes. So isn't that nice? Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so it's it's just a handshake. Thank you for coming by, and uh, good luck. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they appreciate you coming to our door. Yes, And you exactly. can put a yard sign exactly. up. Exactly. Right. Well, it's amazing how many people are, you know, just surprised mm -hmm. to see oh. a politician mm -hmm. knock on their door. Right. Yeah. yeah. You know, one issue uh, that I've uh, thought about periodically, and I've wondered if you have heard about, uh, is one that's uh, now you know wending its way through uh, appeals court, which is the uh, the Amberton Wall issue, and of course uh, that's a oh, local <laughs> issue in your ward, uh, which came up in uh, 2013. Had a gentleman who uh, and wanted I heard, to. I heard Michael Hansen's actually selling his ha house. <laughs> is that right? I, that's what I heard. Is that true? Interesting. Well, I heard what? The 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 I, I think it's Michael Hansen. Michael the, Hansen yeah. yeah, I think no, he's no, sell, no relation. I think he's selling no, his house. Spelled differently. I heard he was selling his house. That's interesting. I, I had not heard, heard that. that. Mm -hmm. I know. I how had to find not out. heard that. Yeah. Wow. I don't I know if that's true or not. So that's well, we very can interesting. Look into that. Um, is that <laughs> well, something you've heard, heard about it here? on the, on the <laughs> no. trail? I, I, I'll tell you, I've really left that one alone, guys. I mean, you know, as politicians, mm -hmm. you know that my you start mom lived sides, on the other you side. You get in all kinds of trouble. Yes. I think I I was fascinated because I thought it was a private property issue, but on the other hand, when you hear the story from the other side. Sounds pretty compelling, and at this point, mm -hmm. I understand that uh, they should be able to rule it pretty soon, I would think. Uh, yeah, they were briefing uh, last I heard, you know, meaning that uh, lawyers for both sides were uh, submitting their briefs. Uh, and then, you know, once you do that, you uh, the other side gets to do a response, and uh, they, they go back and forth like that. But, uh, yeah, I mean, my understanding is that we, we could see it move forward uh, this fall. And, uh, of course, the issue for uh, folks out there uh, watching, uh, there's uh, or there was uh, – public walkway, uh, or a walkway nonetheless, that connected two cul-de-sacs, one in Amberton, one in the Amberton development, uh, near, uh, goodness, uh, what is it? I think it's uh, Ming and uh, Ash, 
Uh, Me and, and El Portel. Yeah. Th- thank you. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And uh, the other uh, s- subdivision, if you will, uh, Stockdale Estates, and a uh, homeowner uh, on the Stockdale Estates side um, had had issues uh, with with home burglaries, uh, things like that, you know, uh, folks stealing stuff from his front yard. And so he decided to build a wall on his own private property, uh, blocking and, you know, essentially blocking up the, uh, the cul-de-sac. And uh, so he did so. It was his own private land. And um, the folks, uh, you know, I- in the area, uh, many of them in Amberton, uh, filed a lawsuit and sued him. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, that's basically it. And, uh, you know, like I said, Michael Hansen, spelled S-E-N. Yes, no relation. Uh, is no relation of mine. Uh, some people seem to think that. And I, uh, no. uh, and, uh I, I pretty much left that alone. I think that thing's mm-hmm. died down. I, really? Yeah, I, I'll, just I'll be surprised if there's going to be any hubbub. Mm-hmm. I think the decision will be made, and mm-hmm. people will accept it and move on with life. Gotcha. Very good. Another issue with the wall. <laughs> <Yeah>. Excellent. <laughs> well, uh, I'd like to thank everybody uh, for being on our program this afternoon. Uh, we've been uh, hearing from uh, Vice Mayor Harold Hansen, who's seeking his fifth four-year term on the Bakersfield City Council. Uh, one of his former colleagues, Russell Johnson, former Ward 7 representative on Bakersfield City Council, now a local consultant. And uh, former Assemblywoman Nicole Parra, now a uh, adjunct professor in political science out at Cal State Bakersfield. This has been off the press, and uh, we are going to take a break tomorrow. Uh, we're not going to have a show, so if you want to uh, think deep political thoughts, you're going to have to do that on your own. <laughs> but we will be back uh, before you at uh, 2 p.m. on uh, September 28th when we will have Jeff Flores, who is uh, running for uh, Area 2 in the Kern High School District. Thanks very much for watching. I'm Theo Douglas. <laughs>